What's up guys? Today we're gonna start a new investment account with a thousand dollars and we'll be giving away this account to a lucky subscriber. So stay tuned to figure out how you can win. I won it? Are you kidding me? Back when I was 14 years old, I got my first job working at McDonald's. <laughs> hey, this is all about board. <laughs> and just in a few months of working part-time while in high school, I was able to save my first thousand dollars. What a feeling it was to be a young kid with some buying power. hundred dollars. <laughs> My original goal was to save up as much money as possible for college and to replace a camera my mom had given me as a gift I had unfortunately lost while crowd surfing at a concert. I did end up doing those things, but one thing I wished I did earlier was invest my money, even if it was just a small portion. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful value investors, suggests investing in a low-cost ETF of the S&P 500. And that is to consistently buy an S&P 500 low-cost index fund. Keep buying it through thick and thin, and especially through thin. Then watching your money grow through the power of compound interest. So imagine if my 14-year-old self had invested $1,000, and plus, instead of buying the latest Nikes, I invested $200 in addition every month. And after 10 years of investing in the S&P 500, I would be at almost almost $50,000, which is almost double the measly $25,000 I would have had if I did not invest the money. But I know what you're thinking. How do we get my 14 year old self to millionaire status? Well, if we continued investing the $200 every month, my 14 year old self would get to millionaire status in 33 years with just $200 invested every month. Which is still a pretty long time, but when you compare it to the amount I would have had if I didn't invest my money, well, it's much more substantial. In 50 years without investing the money, the count would be $121,000, which is definitely not millionaire status. <laughs> And if we kept the investment account going for 50 years, well, I would be at almost $9 million. Say what? which is crazy compared to the $120,000. But I know what you guys are thinking, it's still a really long time, and it's definitely not the quick riches we see all over social media. Photoshop myself in completely different scenarios. All scenarios either making me seem more richer, cooler, or more important than I actually am in real life. So how do we get to millionaire status quicker? There are really only two ways to get there quicker. I'm listening. So the first way is something that most people can do, and it's simply by working a job, living under your means, by budgeting and investing over the long term, like Warren Buffett says. Now go in your office and make some money! <laughs> Now, this could take quite a long time, over 10 years or even more, to use the power of compound interest to build real wealth. And the second way is to create value and sell it. Now, this could be in a form of products, startups, businesses, side hustles. I got Versace for men and women. I got everything for men and women. I'm very romantic. Both of these can be done at the same time. But both ways have their risks. For example, having a job, whether or not it's high paying or not, takes a really long time and lots of sacrifice to be able to budget and invest over a long period of time. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. 
For example, the average salary in California is about $62,000. After taxes, $62,000 is just a little over $48,000 a year which is $4,000 a month. So imagine if one was a really good budgeter and was able to save 50% of their salary every month. I'm filling up some buckets with snow to melt and use it for water. Water from the sink actually costs money. Which is $2,000 a month. How long would it take to become a millionaire? So investing $2,000 every month with the average return of the S&P 500, well, it would take you about 16 years to reach millionaire status. I got my money! But why do you need your money so fast? Come on. So imagine one started working at 20, budgeted really well, and invested consistently for 16 years. Well, this person could reach millionaire status at the age of 36. But saving $2,000 every month is really hard and requires really good budgeting skills and some sacrifices. You know how much I sacrificed? For example, a few years back, I lived in my car in order to save rent money. Where's the rent? You don't have to raise your voice. You pay you! I can give you half. And put this money into my investments. But that's a story for another video, so stay tuned for that one. And the second way to get to millionaire status a lot faster is to create value and sell it. Well, we sell anybody but a dead body. So whether it's a product or a service that one is trying to sell, it takes a lot of sweat equity and sometimes really high upfront costs to start a business. Wow, it must be expensive. So whether it is working at a regular job and saving money in order to put more money into investments or starting a side hustle creating value and selling it nothing is easy and if anyone tries to tell you otherwise they're selling you lies lies and more lies and lies on top of lies but in any case everyone has to start somewhere so today we're gonna open an investment account together for the channel and invest a thousand dollars and every month we're gonna put a hundred dollars into this account so instead of buying the latest Nikes we're going to invest in this account I don't know why I bought them just because you don't got them okay I don't know you know and once we reach 10,000 subscribers we're going to give this account away to a lucky subscriber we decided to choose a really simple way that anyone could do and we're going to put this thousand dollars into the s p 500 and do what warren buffett suggests that we do buy an s p 500 low cost index fund another way to try and create value and sell it is by learning a new skill to get either a new job upgrade your job or sell that new skill we're making a youtube video where we're learning a new skill every hour for 24 hours <laughs> who not you <laughs> And my favorite place to do this is on Udemy. I've personally taken a bunch of courses on Udemy. From finance to real estate to data science and programming, you can find so many awesome courses on Udemy. You will learn to code and lead, find and solve, build and launch, craft, play and sing. There are a lot of industry specialists on Udemy providing quality courses at cheaper prices, significantly cheaper than any college or university education. And I usually like to put these videos in 2x speed. That way I can finish the courses in half the time and apply the new skills as quickly as possible. And Udemy is usually a step up from YouTube because the courses are actually really high quality and you'll learn a ton of new things that you'll be able to apply right away.
I'm super excited to continue investing in our new investment account. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Instagram so you can stay up to date with our new investment account. As always, sending you guys a ton of good vibes. Peace. Here comes the money. Here we go.